Hi everyone, welcome back to Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I am so excited to have you with me today and I am so excited to be wrapping up around the world looking at Australian animals. Have you had fun learning about animals? I think we were learning about some wombats and some emus, but today I have another animal for you. I wonder if you can guess what it is. It's a big animal and it has two ears, a very long tail, and it has two big feet and it likes to jump. I wonder if you know what animal I'm talking about. I think you might. It's a kangaroo. Come along with me and let's learn about kangaroos today. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have one foot, I have one foot, watch me balance. song for you about a kangaroo and I would love for you to try and learn it with me. You might not know it so we might sing it twice and we could try it again. It goes like this. Oh I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh I'd hippie and I'd hoppy and I'd hippie and I'd hoppy. Oh I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh do you wish you were an Aussie kangaroo? Maybe you can join in with me. You might like to jump like a kangaroo too. Ready? Get ready to tap your legs. Ready? Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Oh, I'd hippie and I'd hoppy and I'd hippie and I'd hoppy. Oh, I wish I was an Aussie kangaroo. Do you know what? Maybe we could learn to jump like kangaroos. Can I show you? Do you know what? There's a special way we can learn how to jump. And I've got a little poster that shows you how we can make sure that we can jump like an Aussie kangaroo too. But to do it, you need to make sure oh, that you bend your arms back and you bend your knees, just like in the photo. And when you jump, oh, we have to reach for the stars so that we can jump so far oh, and land with our legs bent again. Maybe you could practice doing some jumping at home because I think you could jump pretty high or maybe you could jump pretty far. Did you know that 
a kangaroo, they can jump almost three meters high in the air and they can almost jump seven meters long. That's very far. Maybe you could practice jumping at home and see how high you could jump. Or maybe reach for the stars and see how far you could jump. Oh, I love jumping. Maybe let's go see what's in our story with a kangaroo today. Thanks, Stacey, for that. That was so cool learning how to jump like a kangaroo. Maybe you can try that at home. All right, now we have a special book called The Bushwalk that we're going to read together. So on the front, we can see lots of Australian animals that we might see in the bush. So let's have a little read and see what happens. The Bushwalk. I love to walk in the bush. If I keep my eyes and ears open, it's always an adventure. And as you can see, they're going for a walk and we can already see a green leaf. Sometimes when I go bushwalking, I see lots of leaves and trees. Sometimes I think all I will find is green, brown trees and plants. Can you see the green and brown leaves? And there's a big trees in the book. But then, I discover a splash of colour. <gasps> what do we have here? We read on and see. And hear a thrilling song. What a bird. Or a croaking call down by the creek. <gasps> ribbit, ribbit. There's a frog. If I look carefully, I might spy a lizard on a sunny day. And the lizard is on the rock sun baking to keep themselves nice and warm. Or even see a snake slither off the track. <gasps> wow, I hope I don't come across a snake when I go bushwalking. Once I surprised this spiky fellow, it's an echidna with lots of spikes and that's how the echidna protects themselves with all their spikes. And startled some furry grey flashes crashing through the shrubs. There's some wallabies. Some animals can be tricky at hide and seek. And some have clever disguises. Look at that, it's blending into all the green leaves. Others wake as the sun sets. It's an owl, so when we go to bed at night and all the other animals go to bed, the owl wakes up. And then the night comes alive with rustling life. Look at that. All the animals that are awake during the night. The bush is an amazing place. Just look, just listen. What will you discover there? And that's the end of our story. And if you go on a bushwalk with mummy or daddy or, or a special adult, then you might be able to have a look in all in all the bushland and see if you can spot any of those animals that we found in our book. I know a special song about walking in the bush and it goes like this. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, there is nothing quite like it, walking in the bush. <gasps> I can see a koala. You might see a koala if you're out in the bush too. They like to hide up in the trees. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, there is nothing quite like it, walking in the bush. <gasps> I can see some green and brown leaves on our shelf, just like in our story. Walking in the bush, walking in the bush, there is nothing quite like it, walking in the bush. All right, so maybe the next time you're out in the bush, you can have a look for any animals or leaves, 
gum nuts or any rocks, maybe even a river. Sometimes there's rivers in bushes and you might be able to find some animals in that too. <laughs> I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Playtime with Robbie and Susie. I love it when we go on zoo trips with Miss Carly. Look, here comes a bus now. Bye, Bye Susie. Bye, Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Have a nice day. Bye. What animal do you want to see at the zoo today? I want to see a kangaroo, or a t -t tiger, or a b -b bike. A bike? <laughs> That's not an animal. We're here! Yay! We've arrived at the zoo, boys and girls. But before we get off the bus, let's play a game. Yeah! <laughs> Which game are we going to play today? Buzz, buzz, buzz! <laughs> Picture pick! Are you ready to play Picture Pick? Choose any picture and feed it to Socky. Choose Cats Are Climbing. Great job! You found Cats Are Climbing. Let's feed the picture to Socky. <laughs> Let's sing the song together. Cats are climbing. C -c 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 -c. Cats are climbing. C -c -c -c. Cats are climbing. C -c -c -c. Cats are climbing. C -c -c -c. Choose any picture and feed it to Socky. Choose bees are buzzing. Great job! You found bees are buzzing. Let's feed the picture to Socky. <laughs> Let's sing the song together. Bees are buzzing, bu bu bu. Bees are buzzing, bu bu bu. Bees are buzzing, bu Bees are buzzing, bu bu bu. Choose any picture and feed it to Socky. Choose kangaroos kicking. Great job! You found kangaroos kicking. Let's feed the picture to Socky. Let's sing the song together. Kangaroos kicking. Kangaroos kicking. Kangaroos kicking. Kangaroos kicking. What pictures did we discover today? Cats are climbing. Bees are buzzing. B -b -b. Kangaroos kicking. Yay! <laughs> look, everyone! There's some kangaroos kicking! Wow, look at that! Whoa. Oh, wow! Look! Kangaroos kicking! Just like in our favourite song! <laughs> Kangaroos kicking Kangaroos kicking Hi Alicia, thanks Hi. for coming and joining us. I have Skippy with me here today because Skippy has been so excited that we've been learning about kangaroos, haven't you? <gasps> oh, I think he has been. And he tells me that he likes to go for walks all the time in the bush too. <gasps> oh, 
He does. And he always has a look around to see what he can see. But Skippy has an idea for us to do some art experiences today, looking at kangaroos. Should we get into that today? Maybe I'll show you a little bit later. Say bye, Skippy. Bye. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at drawing and doing a kangaroo art experience today. Sounds good. So I've got two options for us. I have a cardboard cutout of a kangaroo um, that maybe you might like to trace. Yeah. And we can do an artwork with that one. But what I thought I might show you how to do on my piece of paper is how we could draw a kangaroo at home. So you might just need a crayon or a pencil and we need to have a look at our kangaroo. And I have a kangaroo up here and we need to think of the shapes. So we've got a long, big body and I've got a long, big tail. Can you see its long tail start to come in? And then what else do we need? We need to think of our shapes again. So I've got a line that goes down. Or let's see if you think you know what this might be. Oh, I think it's my kangaroo foot. And kangaroos have two big jumping feet. So we might need to just draw another one. How are you going over there, Alicia? Good, I've just traced my kangaroo. I'm a, I've got a blue kangaroo today. Oh, that looks so good. So now I've started to draw the tops of my body. Oh, and I need my ears. Oh, I might just need to move the clip. Oh, and let's see if I can fit my face in. It's a little bit tricky. That looks good. And I've started to draw my kangaroo, but I think something's missing. My kangaroo still has hands, so we might just go like this. One hand, two hands, oh, and he might be holding some leaves because he's just gone on a bushwalk too. <gasps> Get it out of mouth and an eye. So do you know what? If you maybe have a look at a picture of a kangaroo, maybe you could have a look at some of the shapes like circles for the body and long tails. But we've always got to remember to have two feet because remember, our kangaroo uses its big two feet so it can bend down and it can jump really high. But do you know what? I need to decorate my kangaroo. So what I think I might do is I am going to look at doing a form of like a traditional indigenous artwork and that's doing like a dot painting. So what I've got is I've got some little wooden sticks and I've also got some little toothpicks and these will help make some perfect little dots. But maybe if you don't have that at home, you might use cotton bud tips. Yeah. You might even go for a bushwalk and find some sticks some gum nuts and you could do that too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some dots all around my kangaroo and I'm gonna make an artwork and I'm gonna show it to you and see what you think. But you remember, you gotta take Looks your good. time. Ooh. Now, over um, here, I'm doing some other things that I might have found in the bush with my kangaroo. So I'm gonna draw a tree right now. Big tree with lots of leaves. And Alicia, can I tell you something that I yeah. know about a kangaroo? Did you know that a kangaroo can't jump backwards? Why? Oh, you didn't know? No. Well, I think it's because a kangaroo has a big long tail and that helps it to stay balanced, but it means it can't jump backwards. <gasps> so I learned that the other day with they Skippy. Can only jump forward. They can wow. only jump forward. But I was telling my friends they can jump almost three metres high. That is so tall. That is taller than us. It is. It's wow. almost three times taller than a kangaroo they can jump up to. Wow. It's pretty clever. That is so high. Oh, How's your drawing going? It's good. I've got my tree that I'm doing. Ooh. And I think I'm going to add some snakes because in our story we found some snakes in the bush. Oh, you did too. I'm gonna put some leaves on here. I hope if you really came across a snake that you wouldn't touch it though. No, I wouldn't. I would walk quickly away from it. <laughs> That's right, you should always remember that if we see any wild animals out, 
we should just leave them alone because we don't want to disturb them. It's nice to look, but we never touch, do no. we? I think we go to the zoo and the reptile park for things like that. Yeah, we can <gasps> see them through glass and in all of them. Look at that. I'm taking yeah, my time, but I've done lots so of good. yellow dots around mine. So definitely something that you've got to take your time. Oh, but you can make some beautiful patterns. Oh, keep that going. looks amazing. Dot, 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 dot. Do you know what, Alicia? I know one more fact about a kangaroo. What? Can I share it with you? Yeah. Well, did you know that kangaroos, they have these big ears, but they can turn their ears to hear things, but they don't turn their head. Can we do that? Oh. I can't turn my ears. No, I have to turn my head to <laughs> move my too. ears. That's pretty different that a wow. kangaroo can do something so different. That's amazing. Oh finish my extra dots all right oh so maybe this could be something that you could do at home with your family and maybe you could make a beautiful kangaroo artwork or maybe you could even collect some things on a bush walk and use as well oh i might just add that a would be amazing Few. And if you do create a kangaroo at home we would love for you to share them with us on kinderloop so we can have a look at them at the center oh so do you know what? I could add so many more dots to my painting, but I'm starting to like seeing how it comes together. And I'm going to show you in a second. Dot, 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 dot. It's definitely an artwork that you have to keep a very steady hand. And because you can only do little dots at a time, you definitely have to take your time. I just put a few more on his arms. I finished my artwork over here. I have my kangaroo. Wow. And I have some snakes and some leaves that have fallen from our big tree that we might see in the wow. bush. Wow, I love that. And I love that you can see your kangaroo has a big long tail. It does. And look, I've added some dots to mine as well. I think I might add some more a little bit later as well and make this kangaroo very bright and colorful. But maybe you could give it a go at home. Maybe you might like to draw it yourself or maybe you might ask for some help and you could trace it as well. But we would love to see you explore more with kangaroos because a kangaroo is one of our national animals. So I think it'd be very exciting to learn more about kangaroos with your family. So thanks for joining us today and we hope you've had so much fun exploring all things Australian and Australian animals with us. Thanks Alicia. Thank Bye. Bye.